Hey Slick, guess what I got today? What? What do you have to show me? Again. Why none other here than this cool knife. Look at that. It's kind of cute. That knife? Wait, that's a knife? Yeah, it is. And it works great too. Shoot, that ain't nothing. Let me show you something. Now this here, this is a knife. Good evening, cowboys, cowgirls, and outlaws. Welcome to the Slick Six Guns Network. I'm your host, Slick Six Guns, and I'm here to provide education, tips, and community for those interested in the Western shooting sports. If you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Today's episode is sponsored by Alamo Knife Works. Be sure to check them out in the description section of this video. Also in the description section is a link to our Patreon account if you feel like supporting us. Now let's pack our wagons and see what's being discovered out west. As stated in previous videos, knives are commonly accepted accoutrements in most, if not all, of the western shooting sports. However, be sure to consult your sports rules handbook to ensure there are no restrictions on these items. If you ever are unsure, please consult with club officers in your local club who might be able to give you more insight. It has been said that of all the arms that have made up our history, three things typically come to mind. That of the Kentucky Rifle, the Colt Revolver, and the Bowie Knife, which is our topic today. What I am about to tell you is a story that is shrouded in mystery, tall tales, and over-exaggeration but nonetheless is a history worth learning and appreciating. Here are a couple examples of Bowie knives that are made here in the United States. One is done by Alamo Knife Works based out of Texas, and the other one was made by my neighbor, and you see that they both have different characteristics, but nonetheless share the same name. The Bowie knife gets its name from James Bowie after a famous fight that occurred in the 1820s and would go on later to become a signature specimen of American pride and the frontiersman. However, who was James Bowie? How did he become so famous? Why did the sandbar fight occur? Why is it remembered? What instance brought the Bowie knife to fame? And finally, what designates a knife as a Bowie? James Bowie was born in 1796 in Kentucky, and by the time he was an adult, had lived in Missouri and Tennessee, before residing in Louisiana on hundreds of acres, where his family grew crops of cotton, sugarcane, and livestock. During the War of 1812, he volunteered to fight the British, but the war had already ended prior to him getting involved. He was involved in land speculation and the slave trade before moving to Texas. While in Texas, he became a Mexican citizen, married, bought a textile mill, gambled, and racked up a lot of debt. He eventually became involved with the Texas Revolution and was killed at the Alamo. His mystique is on par with that of Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, and other frontiersmen that many still remember to this day. The sandbar fight took place near Natchez, Mississippi, and began due to well-established families in central Louisiana having several different disputes with newer families settling in the area. Among the possible reasons for the duel are thought to be political, financial, and personal in nature, and run the gamut of accusations. One thing is for certain, it brought spectators and made the headlines due to its outcome and number of witnesses. Apart from being killed at the Alamo in 1836, Bowie was involved in the brawl known as the Sandbar Fight in 1827 that took place between two feuding individuals. Bowie came to the side of the duel in support of one side, and after the duel occurred, in which there were no casualties, one side attacked the other in a melee of gunfire, sword, canes, and knives that would leave Bowie near death 
and several wounds with one of his assailants succumbing to his knife. In effect, what made him famous was that he survived such wounds, which are often exaggerated depending on what source you use. Furthermore, the fact that the press got a hold of the melee story and his name set the stage for his fame as well as that of his knife. During the sandbar fight, a man by the name of Norris Wright attempted to shoot and then stab Bowie with a sword cane along with his companions. It is said that many witnesses, both participants and non-participants, saw the knife that Bowie used and commented on its size and dimensions, even though those accounts are lost to history for two particular reasons. First, dueling was illegal. And second, the participants did not want notoriety and possibly legal trouble, as well as the fact that multiple eyewitness accounts were twisted and confounded by both historians and citizens. As a result, no one really knows the exact dimensions of the knife that was used. Nonetheless, despite its fame, any kind of knife would have been helpful on the frontier. However, a Bowie knife was seen as more utilitarian, as it not only could be a good self-defense melee weapon, but also had the ability to skin game and be used as a crafting tool. Not to mention it is documented that Bowie knife schools became popular and taught the owner how to use a Bowie knife against an aggressor. Due to the expansion of the Bowie knife name to places such as England, the knife makers overseas would curtail their products to American customers by etching and labeling the knives with words and art that were patriotic in nature. Some of these labels might even be familiar to you, such as the Arkansas toothpick. Eventually, the knife saw use in the Mexican-American War and the American Civil War on both sides. According to Merriam-Webster, a Bowie knife is defined as a stout, single-edged hunting knife with part of the back edge curved concavely to a point and sharpened. However, as previously stated, a Bowie knife's dimensions are not exactly specified. Other than it is an obviously large knife, generally in the length of 8 and a quarter inches with a width of 1 and a quarter inches a cross guard, and a curved point. Bowie knives could have a Texas clip and other specifications such as a tombstone handle. Much like guns, many people decide to dress up their Bowie knives with a myriad of personalized horn and wood materials. Despite not wanting legal trouble and notoriety, James Bowie and his knife were made famous throughout the West and around the world. Today, many knife makers make their version of a Bowie knife. Sheffield knives being one of the most popular, as well as others that just scream quality and utility. Bowie knives can be seen on the everyday person, reenactor, and cowboy action shooter. They are excellent for adding to a costume and are quite the conversation starter depending on how big the knife's blade is.